Hey there, so this is going to be a beginner tutorial video on Binance and how to place orders and actually trade on them. So if you're a beginner or starting to learn how to use Binance, then this video is for you. So right now I'm on Binance's homepage and what I'll then want to do is go over here to markets. I'm going to click on that. Now when I click on that, I want to make sure that I'm over here on spot markets. And then for myself, I am interested in buying XLM using USDT. So what I'll then do is click over here to fiat markets. And then once I do that, I'm going to type in XLM. LM. And when I do that, it's going to show me the different trade pairs. Now, if you're interested in, let's just say Cardano, you would type in ADA. Or if you're interested in Doge, you would type in DOGE. And this is trading against fiat. So this is coins such as USDT or BUSD and so on and so forth. But for myself, I'm interested in XLM. So I'm going to click on that and click over here. And when I click on it, it'll bring me to a trade page or dashboard that looks like this. Now you might feel a little bit overwhelmed that it looks like this over here, but I want to bring your attention to pretty much just this part over here. Now you might see limit and market and some boxes over here, and that's all that we're really going to focus on. So we want to see spot, limit, market, and this over here. Now, if your layout looks a little different, what you'll want to do is come over here and you can change it to classic, but mine is already on classic. So what I'm going to do is just kind of explain this stuff over here. And I'm going to talk about how you can make a trade or you can place an order. So if I'm interested in buying XLM right now at this price over here, let's just say 42 cents, what I'm then going to do is click over here to market. So when I go to market, it basically means that I want to buy right now at this current price over here. Okay, so that is what market means. Now over here, I can either enter in the amount of XLM that I'm interested in buying, or I can change it to the total amount of USDT that I'd like to buy. So right now, if it's on amount, this means that I'm interested in buying, let's just say 20 XLM at this current price over here. And if I press buy XLM, it'll automatically buy the XLM. Now I can also change it to the total amount over here. Let's just say I'm interested in buying 15 USDT worth. And if I buy XLM, it'll give me however many XLM for 15 USDT. Now over here is how much USDT I currently have. And this is how much XLM I have right now. So if I'm interested in buying buying this over here, let's just say I am interested in buying $11 worth of XLM. I'm going to click buy XLM right now. And there we go. As you can see, I've just now bought $11 worth of XLM or 11 USDT worth. Now, if I'm interested in placing a limit order, which is different from a market order, what happens is this means that I would like to buy USDT at a specific price. So let's just say I'm interested in buying USDT at 30 cents. So I would do this. I would put it in at 30 cents USDT. Now I'm going to specify how many XLM I'd like to buy. Let's say I'm interested in buying 100 XLM at this price, 30 cents. It'll then automatically adjust to say that it will cost me 30 USDT or I can do the inverse. So let's just say I'm interested in buying only $20 worth of XLM at this price over here, 0.3 USDT. You'll see that the numbers have adjusted, right? So if I I click on buy XLM, it's going to go on to over here, which is an open order. So if I click buy XLM right now, I have an open order. And basically what it means is that if the price goes to 30 cents, then I will get my 66.7 XLM. But that's only if the price goes down to 30 cents. Right now it's at 42 and a bit. But if it doesn't go there, this will always stay as an open order. It won't cancel and it can 
can just be there forever, assuming that the price of XLM doesn't come down to 30 cents. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can either place an order, just as I've done over here, or how you can buy XLM or whichever coin that you're interested in on Binance for the market price. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful or useful, please share it with someone who you think will get some value out of it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check and I do respond. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.